All right, uh, final player today will be Diedrich Mills, um, and we will open up here, Brian Christofferson. Hey, Diedrich. Um, could you take me back to kind of how you suffered the injury and then what it was like kind of grinding your way back, you know, from it the last few weeks? Um, I just know, like, that first drive against Penn State, like, uh, somebody, like, somebody, like, I got hit by one person and another person kind of stood me, uh, one person stood me up and another person came and hit me on the side of my leg. And I just felt like a little pop in my knee. And I just knew I finished the drive. I knew I could finish the drive and make a few more plays, but I just knew if I would have kept going the rest of that game, probably wouldn't have been able to play the rest of the season. So me being smart, I took a chance and just told coach, uh, I, I feel confident in the younger guys. I mean, you can put either one of them, Marvin, Ramirez, or Ronald and you know, I feel like the game would still be the same. So, I mean, that's what happened. And, and the young guys got in and did did, it, did what it was supposed to do. You had to like uh, getting your first touch on the one yard line for a touchdown. Oh yeah, that felt, that, that was just a warm up. That was the warm up. So I, I mean, I, it's just for me to go out there and see how I really felt during the game and how you feel to get hit. Cause I ain't got hit in two, three weeks, you know, since, since that Penn State game. So it was just like, I, I was, and just kind of been like an up and down for the past two weeks with with my knees. So it was like I wanted to go against Iowa, but then I was like, nah, I'm gonna just wait, give it one more week, and then came back out this week. I felt a whole whole lot more confident with my knee and stuff like that. So I mean, it came out and I showed it. Thank you, uh, Jake Bartecki, Care and you, <clears throat> Deidre. It's been kind of a strange year, and you know, being a senior, how hard was it for you mentally? to miss a few games in a season where there's only eight regular season games. And then just how do you think you played on Saturday? I mean, the offense looked a lot better with kind of having a, a designated running back. I mean, it, it was hard at the beginning to miss a few games, but at the same time, you like, 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 like Adrian said, like when you, when you, when you, when he got bumped from being starter, you know, it's just like you, you got to have that faith and that confidence in your team that everybody still believe in you. Everybody still love you. Everybody still family to you. You know what I mean? And, just knowing that you got people on that like, cheering you on, supporting you, they, they they got your back through every uh, like through the whole situation. It's just like uh, it, it it just motivated me to you know hurry up like just to to go to go to get treatment, go go to the training room every day just to you know get get my knee knee taken care of so I can hurry up and get back on the field because I know like yeah they miss me, I miss them too. Like I mean it's just it's just they my they my boys They're like my brothers you know. So when we one missing you know. Everybody feel for one person, feel for that person, you know. So then we, every that's why everybody take it. This game this past weekend, like you know, we lost miles, you know. So we we and we got a few more teammates. That's all that that we need, you know what I mean. And not having them, you know, that give us another motivation and another booster to go out and you know just just to play the game a different way with a, at a higher level. Eric Peterson, Hale Varsity. Hey, Diedrich, this is kind of a, a common sense question, but I'm just curious what your your take on it is. What, what does it take to be good in pass pro or good as a lead blocker from the running back spot? Um, just Pretty much perfecting your technique every day at practice, which we, 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 we do pass protection, like at least – I know we do it every day of the week. Either when we got pass or don't have pass, we hitting the bag or hitting a, hitting a, hitting a few of, like the few of the linebackers, you know. So just working on that so much every like pretty much at least three four times a week, um, it just help help us in the game. And it just it's all about how you do it. Don't launch too much. Don't don't lean too much. It's just I have that perfect squat position, you know, so you can be ready to lift power clean the guy when he come through the hole. Do you think it's more important to to be like physically able to take on a Big Ten linebacker or mentally willing to go hit a guy? No, it's just more mental. You know what I mean? You gotta. Some people can. Some people can look the part. You know what I mean? And like, and like I look good. I look good compared to a lot of linebackers. Like I match up with them, but you know what I mean? It's just all about that mental mental thing. Where like your heart. You know what I mean? You got enough heart to go go and and lay that lay that lay a hat to this guy to help your teammates out. You know what I mean? And that's just me. I mean. I wasn't to do anything laid out on the line for my teammates every every play. Omaha World Herald, Evan Bland. Hey Diedrich, uh, Matt was up here earlier talking about how you know this team has maybe had to learn a lesson as far as how to respond to a win uh, as opposed to a loss. I know you guys haven't strung a ton of wins together the last couple of years. What, what, what do you think that lesson was that you had to learn maybe coming off that Penn State win uh, about learning how to respond to a win? I mean, it's just all about 
like I said, like like Matt and and, and Decap said, you know, just all about that mental preparedness, that that that, that awareness of that we just won, but you know, we still got we still got more games left. You feel me? We just can't get the high head off this one game and think think the rest of the season over because it's not. You know what I mean? We got more games ahead. So like Matt said, we gotta always look at. Yo, have fun. It's just this one day. Yeah, we got the win. Like Saturday, everybody had fun, but everybody was back serious yesterday morning. You know what I mean? By the time we woke back up, everybody was ready. It was more people here to training, training, to training room, and getting more treatment. You know, people getting lifts in and stuff like that. You, you know what I mean? You don't really see too much because people be sore the next day. But it's just all about that that preparation of how bad do you want it? You know what I mean? How bad do you want it? How bad do you want your team to be successful? So it's just like, I mean, it, it just. It's just not. I mean, like I don't know. I don't know. Like it just, it just wasn't that. To me, it shouldn't be that hard. But you know, what I mean, some people just ride ride off a win, you know. And we can't do that. We just got to stay humble. Was that different after the Penn State win? Did you feel like? Yeah, I mean, it it was different. But now, not after this win yesterday, everybody feel. Everybody's still humble. Everybody ready to go play Minnesota this week. I mean, we 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 ready to go cap off what we did this past weekend and come back this week and do the same thing. Hale KN, Andrew Ward. Hey, Diedrich, you've been very vocal about you know just what this opportunity to come back and play uh, in Nebraska has been for you. Have you thought about all you know? And I know there's a lot of questions still up in the air about if this will indeed be your final game at Memorial Stadium. But have you thought at all about what that moment's going to be like when you step off the field for the final time? No, not necessarily because I'm not really even focused on that right now. I'm really just focused on this Minnesota game, this 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 um, this uh, other game that we got after the Minnesota game and then potentially the bowl game. So, I mean, I I I'll know at, at the end of this at the end of these games, and then right now I just can't. I, I just I'm not even worried about that right now because you know, like like Cap said, it might make me cry. You know, <laughs> it just it's just a you know sad situation coming up ahead, coming up ahead of us. You know. Uh, two or three more here, Brooklyn. Uh, Mitch Sherman, the Athletic. Hey, Diedrich, I was going to ask you about Senior Day too, but I won't since you just talked about it. Um, <laughs> what what? What about? Uh, I know you weren't you weren't you were hurt you weren't practicing, but if you can go back to that week after the Penn State game um, a few weeks ago and before Illinois, there was a lot of talk after the Illinois game about how that was not a good week of practice. Um, do you have to guard against that this week, or or you know what do you do to avoid something similar? Um, no, I don't feel like I have to we have to worry about that this week. I feel like all the guys know and it's and, and know. I mean, they, they know what like what what we what we got going ahead and, and what what they got to deal with and what we gotta we gotta put on the field. What we gotta do every day at practice, like it's, and that's come out every day and practice like we are playing the game. You know what I mean? And I, I can honestly say like that probably that Illinois week. We didn't. Everybody didn't prepare the right way that week. Everybody was still riding off that win. So I mean, we, and you saw that practice like in today. I mean, I me with me being back, I never let that that has never happened again. So as far as being a senior, you know what I mean. And and I, and I know the rest of the seniors like D. California and you know Hymas and all us. Like we 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 be on we be on players now. You know what I mean. Like these past few weeks has been different. You know what I mean. It's been different at practice. Like everybody's been. Catching every ball, grinding every play. People been on, been in the right positions, been in the right place they're supposed to be at the right time, and it just it just showed in the game Saturday. Two more, Sam McEwen, World Herald. Is there a conversation after the Illinois game um, about some of the things you're talking about, and and who in that in that meeting, if there was one, got ticked off and 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 set some of the younger players straight? Um, it wasn't was no specific player, or none of that. It's just, you know what I mean, you know, just everybody, just everybody understanding, everybody upset after that game. You know what I mean? And, and everybody knew we shouldn't have lost Illinois. We knew we shouldn't have lost Illinois. And it just, it's just everybody upset from even having the fact that they come here and beat us in our house and then, you know, enjoy their ride back home, which was never supposed to happen and left us side. So, I mean, it just, they don't want to feel that again. So, they, they, everybody made up in their own minds. You know, it's just, we didn't need to talk. Everybody made up in their own minds, came back mentally ready for the hour game. Like, and then it started that week. Like, practice was great the hour week. You know what I mean? Hour week game. And it just, unfortunately, it didn't turn out the way we wanted to, but 
and it just kept, you had to keep building, which which why we had the success this past weekend. How, how proud are you of uh, Adrian for, you know, I mean, he, he was benched and, and now he's come back in the last two games. And, and how important do you think your guys' improved play has to do with him doing what he's done in the last two games? I'm very proud of Adrian. I mean, Adrian, me been through, you know, been through a couple of tough, tough, you know, situations with the quarterback situation and just, but he's, he, like he said, he, he he's a team player. I'm a team player. Whether we both either there or not, you know what I mean, or on the field or not, I and mean, we just mentally there, like we just like we dare to support our teammates, cheer our boys on, whether we in the game or not. I mean, I just you just got to be that type of teammate, you know. So it's just like I'm very proud of him. I'm very proud of the way he, you know, he he um, he, he 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 stood up to that that challenge or that that situation that he was going through, you know. Finish up uh, with. Dietrich with uh, Steve Sippel. Hey, Dietrich, just kind of um, wrapping up the discussion. There's some teams that seems like they're sort of limping to the finish line nationally. Listening to you and the other players, I get the feeling that's not the case with you guys. It sounds like a hungry team. Can you pinpoint why Why is Nebraska so hungry right now? Man, we're so hungry. I mean, we 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 so hungry. We really hungry right now because we're trying to get the program back to where it's, where it's, where it's been. You know what I mean? Like, and everybody everybody know Nebraska used to be one of the hardest teams to beat in, in in America. You know, so it's just like now, it's just like we're trying to get it back to that program. Everybody hungry to get it back to that program. Everybody just hungry and humble to you know become a Big Ten championship, become a Big Ten champion team. I mean, and and, and also a national champion. So it's just like we just working hard, trying to you know prove to everybody with all the. It's just a lot of negative talk on Nebraska. So we want to prove everybody wrong, you know. So it's just like we come out every day. These past few weeks, we've been coming out every day. These past few weeks, just going strong, going hard at practice, like. Even when you're not supposed to hit people, I mean, it still happens because that's what that's what we want to see. That's what we, we want that to happen. I mean, you don't you don't want to get hit, but it's gonna happen. I want them to hit us. You know what I mean? So we mentally prepare all week. You know, ready, look out for everything. I always have your head on the swivel. You know, so it's just like that. Just just come with the game. You know. Thank you, Diedrich. All right, appreciate it, Diedrich. Thank you. Uh, thank you. We will have Coach Frost here in about 20 minutes. We'll have a break till then.